Okay, so in this uh, tutorial, we're going to embed multiple overlays onto a single trigger image. And instead of doing a brand new one, I'll just walk you through one of the um, projects that I've already completed. So in Erasmus Studio, and of course you have to apply for this account, so if you don't have it yet, go ahead and apply and you get um, uh, accepted immediately. We'll go to my little experimenting page. We're going to scroll down to the solar system. And so what I've done here is I've imported a trigger image, which is going to be this uh, solar system image. I've named it. This is the training image, solar system.jpg. Then you go to Auras, if I can scroll left here. Once you get your trigger image up, uploaded, you'll click Add, which will, will then bring this up, and you'll see that, oh, I'm sorry, I, saw, I said I had 27 overlays. Uh, it's only 16, my mistake. So you're going to click Add. Under Aura Detail, you're going to name it, Explore the Solar System. You're then going to upload your trigger image, which should already be uploaded. So in this case, it is the solar system. You'll click that, solar system 2. Channel will be my Thrasymachus channel. Time restrictions, this is pretty cool. If you want this overlay uh, to only be triggered, let's say during school hours, you can set it to Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, from this time to this time. Or if you want one planet to be triggered on Monday, another planet to be triggered on Tuesday, and so on, uh, you can certainly program that on your own. Okay, overlays. So notice that I've done invisible overlays. What that does is th this sweet little box here, that is the invisible overlay. Once you place an invisible overlay, that allows you to program this overlay. So I'm going to slide this right back. And so with invisible overlay one, you'll see that, get off, you'll see that you program it when overlay is tapped. So you have a menu here. When overlay is tapped, load a URL and it's going to send you to solarsystem.nasa.gov. When overlay is double tapped, it'll send you to a YouTube website or a YouTube video. I've done that for all nine of the planets plus some extra stuff. So you've got 16 overlays and then a single tap and double tap for each overlay, which brings the total to uh, close to 32 different actions that you can do. And because all of these are invisible, when your aura gets triggered, nothing, nothing shows up. So uh, other than the, the camera icon and the uh, media sharing icon, those will pop up and that's how you know that the the overlays have actually uh, uh, been triggered. So when an overlay pops up, when you initially add an overlay, it's going to be a full screen. It's going to take up the entirety of your uh, trigger image. So you can just resize it very simply, drag it to the area where you want the tap or double tap to enable. Uh, and then once you program it, save it down here in the bottom, uh, you're basically finished. Uh, the next thing that I plan on doing, haven't done this yet, but I want to add another tap down here at the bottom that will send the students to a Google Documents, uh, let's say quiz or essay. So once they view uh, all of these trigger images, or once they view all of these websites that they, they get kicked out to, I will ask some upper level blooms, open-ended questions that they can evaluate uh, either individually or as a, as a team. Uh, and again, I, I would probably use this, I used, I used to teach 8th grade science, I'd probably use this to just introduce the students to the solar system, to the different types of planets, uh, that sort of stuff. I've also added some fun stuff. If you click in this area, in this field that just has a bunch of stars, it shoots you out to a video uh, where I think a bunch of aliens are dancing. And so what you allow for as far as engagement is concerned is the student knows that if there's 32 different things, it almost becomes like a scavenger hunt. And then once you add that Google Documents down here in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, it's a scavenger hunt that leads to uh, higher level Bloom's questions. And then if you uh, single tap in the bottom left-hand corner here, uh, that will shoot you out either to my Twitter page or Jill Confer's twi Twitter page. 
And uh, if you guys have any kind of questions, comments, uh, suggestions, um, you can very easily go from the Erasma overlay straight into uh, Twitter and uh, communicate ideas either with your students or other teachers or, or what have you. Uh, thanks for listening. If you have any questions, uh, either double tap down here on the overlay or uh, at Thrasymachus or at Jill Confer on Twitter, and we'll be more than happy to field questions or uh, take any kind of suggestions. Thanks a lot.